Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So I got my hands on this latest TicWatch Pro 2020 which is a successor to the last year TicWatch Pro 2019 and in this video I'll unbox it, reveal its specs and briefly review it with my final verdict that is it worth buying over the last year TicWatch Pro or not. So let's get started. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos for various smart watches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. Also check out our playlist tab to find categorized videos for various content we post on this channel. Mobvoi, who manufactures a variety of wearables, has recently launched their newest smartwatch in their lineup called the TicWatch Pro 2020, which is a successor to the last year's smartwatch. TicWatch are well known on the Wear OS smartwatch for their dual display technology which I'll be talking about during this video so let's start with the unboxing and price after which I'll talk about the specs and briefly review it with my final say on it. If you are looking for awesome deals on this smartwatches or its accessories please check out the links in the description of this video and just so you know this is not a sponsored video and I paid the full price for this smartwatch to review it so a sub would be massively appreciated to help out this channel. In terms of unboxing it came in a box like this one. You can see over here that it's a 2020 smartwatch because it's very hard to differentiate between a 2019 or a 2020 version physically. At the back you will find all the features listed which we will be talking about in depth during this video. Let's go ahead and open it up. So inside the box you will find an unpacking prompt with a message from Mobvoi's team and their contact info. Let's pull out the watch and inside the box you will find the charging brick which is magnetic with a USB male adapter. On the other side you will find a chunky manual. I don't think so I have seen any manual this thick enough in any smartwatch. So that's it with the unboxing experience. Definitely the unboxing experience for me felt on the premium side. Now this watch cost me 368 Canadian dollar. The price may vary depending on any sale or discount. Check the links in the description of this video to find out good deals on this smartwatch. The 2019 version will cost you about 354 Canadian dollar on Amazon and I'm pretty sure the price of it will go down eventually. It's no longer available on Mobvoi's website which makes sense as they are soon introducing a TicWatch Pro 2020 LTE version which will be the first Wear OS smartwatch to offer a 4G LTE option. At this point in time, it's not available in Canada. Now, unlike the Fossil Gen 5 or any other smartwatch, TicWatch does not have different size option. The only one you have is this 46mm. You can get a black and a silver option, but that's pretty much it. Let me show you how it looks on my wrist. It's a bit bulky if I were to compare it with the Fossil Gen 5. So if you have tiny wrist, this may be a bit bulkier for you. All that being said, let's talk about the specs and exterior. This big boy comes packed with a 1.39 inch display, 45 millimeter in diameter. The cool part about this display is the one of its kind layered display technology where an LCD display is placed on top of the AMOLED display with a Gorilla Glass 3 on the very top to protect both these displays. And maybe that's why it's a bit chunky but that's totally worth it. The LCD display is a top of the line FSTN display which means film super twisted pneumatic. It's basically a superior quality liquid crystal display which has a wider viewing angle and a very sharp contrast between characters and background. LCDs are highly power efficient and can last a very long time with a minimal power consumption. In my opinion, every smartwatch manufacturer should include two things. Number one, an LCD display on top of the AMOLED display as the TicWatch did and two, a true wireless charging to make it super easy to charge so you don't have to carry the proprietary charging brick. I have six smartwatches in total and all of them have their own charging bricks which makes it very hard to charge them up on the go. At least the charging brick in this case is magnetic and snaps on pretty easy. 
Since we are on the display, the MLO display can be activated by either tapping on the screen or pressing any button and it has a 400 by 400 pixel resolution. To me personally, it's not a top of the line display. My favorite in terms of the display quality will be the Huawei Watch GT2. The LCD display shows not just the time but the date, step counter and battery level indicator with 5 bars at the bottom. When you are exercising, it shows more details like the heart rate and the duration of the workout on top. Now, when you are in the essential mode, you will not be able to access the MLO display. So you can easily get about 30 day of battery life, which is cool as most of the other smartwatches in their so-called essential mode only shows the time and nothing else. But this one can show you a bit more than time. Moving on, this watch has a military 810G rating. Basically, it feels premium with a metallic top and a carbon fiber body. At the back, it has the stainless steel casing which houses the heart rate monitor and charging pins. The external loudspeaker is surprisingly hard to find. It's right here at the back. This position makes it a bit muffled but having this, you can now take audio calls and even listen music right from the watch. This watch comes packed with a 1GB of RAM and 4GB of internal storage. The predecessor TicWatch Pro 2019 had only 512MB of RAM. This step up in the RAM makes it a bit snappier to use. But I wish the newer smartwatches came with more internal storage, again that's my personal preference. This TicWatch Pro comes with an older CPU, the Snapdragon 2100. I wish they could have at least included the 3100 processor like the Fossil Gen 5, which could have bumped up the snappiness. To some point comparing this with the Fossil Gen 5, it does feel a little bit slower. Again, this has the older version of Bluetooth 4.2. I wish they could include the latest Bluetooth 5.0, which is more energy efficient, robust connection, slightly more range and data transfer speed. But on the brighter side, it has all the bells and whistles like the Wi-Fi 802.11 with the frequency of 2.4 GHz, standalone GPS, so you don't need your phone to track your run outdoor. NFC for Google Pay and all the sensors like the heart rate monitor, pedometer, accelerometer, gyroscope, e-compass, ambient light sensor. This watch runs on the Google Wear OS which has a ton of third party apps, games and watch faces and it houses a 415mAh battery size which for me goes about a day and a half. And if you go on the essential mode, you can go about 30 days. This watch has a 22mm removable wristband so you can even use any other band and customize your needs. Finally, it has the IP68 water and dust resistant rating but Mobboy hasn't stated it as a swim proof device so I wouldn't risk it taking in deep waters. In terms of dimension, it's 12.6mm thick and weighs 58.5g, so it's definitely bulky and a bit heavier, but to me it does not feel heavy on my wrist. This watch comes with a hybrid genuine leather on top and a sort of silicon rubber at the bottom, so the band won't be damaged by exercising. This was also the case for Fossil Gen 5. Just like all the other Wear OS smartwatches, it comes with the Google Assistant which is robust and better compared to the Alexa or Bixby. The user interface and the app layout will be pretty much the same as any other smart, uh, Wear OS smartwatch. You can check out the Fossil Gen 5 videos I did earlier and it will be about the same on this watch too. This watch comes with preloaded apps like Tick Exercise, Tick Health, Take Pulse, Take Sleep, and Mobboy Privacy. Basically, all these apps are TickWatch's own health and fitness app. Stay tuned by subscribing as I'll be doing in depth videos about these apps later on. With all that being said, the only difference between this and the predecessor TickWatch Pro 2019 is the military 810G standard rating and the 1GB of RAM. Other than that, it's just about the same. So in my opinion, if you want to save and don't really care about the snappiness, I would say go with the 2019 edition as eventually it will get even cheaper. It will still have the layered dual display and the battery life. 
but if you go with the 2020 edition you will get the 1 gig of ram and the option to get the lte version which will be announced in canada pretty soon so this is definitely a premium smartwatch with premium fitness tracking option and functions like Wi-Fi, NFC for Google Pay, robust app, games and watch face ecosystem, reliable Google Assistant and my personal favorite feature the layered dual display technology. Will I recommend it? Absolutely yes if you want a Wear OS device provided it fits your wrist. So that's it with this tick watch pro 2020 please subscribe as i'll be posting more videos about this watch along with full comparison with other smart watches so i really hope you found this video helpful if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video it really means a lot thank you so much for watching and take care i'll see you guys in the next video